she sent me a Ew! <laughs> Ew! She touched my foot! I slid under and grabbed my toe <laughs> and I touched your toesies. Yuck. I don't like that. Hello. 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 Welcome to Wine About It. Welcome to Wine About It. Today we're in our brand new studio that we <laughs> paid for. We bought this. And we set up all the tech and all the lighting for impressive women in stem and are. that's my jackie chan you can't really see him it's for the best but he's there hey guys sorry we just had such a long time with tech that i'm like okay how do we hello how do we start we have so much to talk about we have we're so much to talk about number our... one we're in person wow everyone's freaking out they're losing their goddamn minds cool it's crazy it's crazy we're in the same room we're not look. having wine though imagine we weren't in the same room yeah and you're like look and your hand went through my head It'd be crazy out of it was actually just really cool editing It'd be pretty cool that would be cool um no nope. are i can ta-da audio listeners it makes me really anxious audio listeners she's bouncing coffee on my knee I showed my penis. Oh, hello. We're in LA because I'm like too tall. Okay. Hello. We're oh oh hello. okay. That's crazy. <laughs> We're in LA because we had the gala for good yesterday. The gala for good. The gala for good. It's a pillow. Oh, there he it's is. A dog. <laughs> He's gone. There he is. He's gone. Sorry. Sorry, audio listeners. It's just a really amazing trick that you would have to. He's ruining the trick. It. You'd have to check out the video to believe it's crazy. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. The the gala for good. The gala. 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 Dude, you go on Siri and it says, or you go on like Google and you push the thingy. Yeah. And it it says gala. I said gala. I think we should put the gay back in galas. Oh. Okay. Well. But I did only invite one gay. Yeah. We don't have enough gay true. friends. It's That's also true. You're right about that, actually. Like, is literally... Is anyone even bi? Probably. Who? You. She did <laughs> say not. that yesterday did I? publicly on stream. Yes. I could be. You said, I'm not straight, I think is, is your quote from yesterday. I came out yesterday. This is huge. Yeah. We did. So yesterday, okay, we had the gala for good. What yesterday. is the gala for good? Um, oh It's a charity auction. So far away. I'm giving you back on you. It's, oh, sorry. All right. It's a charity auction. And there were like 100 streamers that came and they did red carpet and they dressed inspired by the rainforest. And then... We did a streamer date auction, and then I did a speech, and then... Suzanne did a speech. Don't forget about and Suzanne. And Suzanne did a speech. Suzanne is the executive director of the Rainforest Foundation US. Yeah. And yeah, and then we went to bed. Yeah, out. I didn't go to my own after party, but we'll get there. Neither of us went to the after party. In fairness... She was sick. Here's what happened. Wait, Here's do what, we start with after I don't party? know where to start. Well, actually, this is fine. I want to start at Olive Garden. So we went to Olive oh. Garden, and everyone made me feel weird. We went to Olive Garden. What are you talking about? No one made you feel weird. Yeah. How? At Olive Garden? Oh, just wait. Yeah, me, Maya Higa, who me. took Taylor, my assistant, and Nicholas Yingling, all went Nalina. to Olive Garden, where we were all family, and we all became family. But then the guy, the waiter comes over and he's like stressed. He's obviously stressed. He's it's a Saturday night. It was a lot. Garden. It was very busy. We had to wait. We had waited. We went to Olive Garden at seven. We left at ten PM. It's true. It was like not it was really not worth it. <laughs> it was yeah. I love Olive Garden, but I this don't. was a bad day. Um we're at the Olive Garden. He comes over and he's like, hey, we're super backed up. It might be a while before you get breadsticks. And I said, no big deal. I don't even like the breadsticks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is what yeah. she's talking about. And she's like, that's totally valid and not weird. It is. Way in. I'm Guys, being honest. It was, it was very honest. They're saying it's weird to tell a waiter if you don't like something. It's That's only not weird if you're going to send it back. I w they're free breadsticks. 
You just don't have to tell him that you don't I'll like the, the waiter was like, it. oh, it's going to take a while to get the breadstick. He was like, I don't care. I don't like him anyway. I did not say it like that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Okay, You're like, I don't care. I don't like him anyway. No, I said it in my in my my goofy NPC voice where I, I put on my boop doop doop and I'm like, ah, it's all right. I don't like him anyway. It's no rush. Okay. And then he was, I was like, like Wait, well. which, I was like, oh, cool. And he was like, all right. Thank you for being so honest. And you're like, yeah, no problem. And we're all like, what the fuck? I thought, <laughs> Why did she say that? Because I didn't want him to feel pressure from our table to hurry up with the breadsticks. There's no pressure from our table. I think it's we're it's family. fine. It's fine. And it's not damaging. And it probably is better than being an actual NPC. But it's it's very outside the norm to say that you don't like something for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> like there was no- <laughs> I was trying to take the pressure off of it. Okay, that's nice of you. Everyone thought I was a psychopath. I, but it would be—it would be enough to just be like, "No worries, that's plenty." <laughs> like if he's like, "It's gonna take a while to get breadsticks," you'd be like, "Oh, no worries, take your time." Don't be like, "Yeah, it's fine. I, they're gross. I don't want them. Don't even bring them out." I hate I this didn't place. Say it like that. <laughs> I didn't. That's what she said. That's what she said. Um, I was like, "Cool." I was like, "Cool, girl." <laughs> Cutie paid three ninety nine for unlimited gaming at olive garden on the ipad at the table and she gamed the whole time so good she played plants versus zombies so fun well first i tried to play eight ball but then i played plants versus zombies but my tummy was hurting and i was getting really anxious i thought maybe i was she had tight pants syndrome let me explain you wear pants that are too tight for too long you get really bloated because it restricts your (laughs) blood flow and your air flow yeah, and then you feel really bloated and it and hurts. You get abdominal pain and like some chest pain even. Holy sh! Who's texting you? I don't know. Stop pretending like it's not happening. It's, it's my me dad. Off. Oh, f- him. Oh my god. He doesn't watch this. My dad said, "Does anyone recognize this person in the green dress?" And he sent this picture. <laughs> it's such a funny picture. <laughs> the dog. Oh, it's you. Their 120 pound dog is on the table. He's on the coffee table. <laughs> Is he watching the gala? Yeah, look, the gala? This is me in the green dress. <laughs> My dad texted me said, Who's this in the green dress? Like, it's their dog. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's never. Oh. And then me. <laughs> wow. That's so funny. I didn't know he'd watch it. Me neither. I, I wait, said so I'm many really things. uncomfortable yeah. about our interview with Jessica. Why? And, we both and Jenna. Came in- yeah, you smelt it. Your dad would smell it too. It's okay. <laughs> Don't pretend like you wouldn't. Wait. If your dad was in your shoes, he would smell. Did they really watch that whole? Jenna Actually, Jones that's sprint. okay. Sorry. If you guys didn't watch the ga- the gala, we did red carpet interviews. Jenna Miauri brought a PS5 that she sat on with like paint on herself, so there's a print. Also, her butt is. And she. This is not BM when I'm saying this, but her butt is small. If I sat on a PS5, <laughs> it would just be crack. Like, holy shit. I don't think she put she all had of her, her weight on the PS5. On it. it was good. It was a good Mine print. Mine would literally just be a stripe. Okay. It was a good print, but I think she also has practiced. Oh. Probably comes with practice. I want to practice. And then Alinity brought sweaty shorts. Booty shorts. <laughs> booty shorts. And then. So funny. And then. Austin had his underwear. Well, Austin wait. brought his underwear. Let's. We got to stay on. We'll come back. Don't worry. We'll stay. We're we'll, at Olive Garden. We're at Olive Garden. Okay. I'm the best She's gaming. plants at zombies. Plants for zombies player in the world. I had tight pants syndrome. I was hurting. And plants for zombies calmed me down. She thought she was going to have a heart attack. Have you guys ever had heartburn? That is whack. It feels yeah. like you're having a heart attack. Who knew? Yeah. Um, How are you supposed to know when you're having a heart attack? I think your arm hurts. My arm always hurts when I think about it. Right. Well, that's with everything. But we did go to Olive Garden. It was not good. I liked it. I didn't. I got soup salad and breadsticks, but only ate half a breadstick. You know, they're not, not that good. The breadsticks aren't good. I, I also ate half they a breadstick. They used to be good. Something happened. I was excited about them and was really disappointed by them. I'm turning my phone I'm going to see when... Yeah, tell your dad to shut up. Okay. Well, that was my brother, but that's oh. really mean. Um... I'm going to say so, maybe Olive Garden got new management. Who is the president of Olive Garden? I feel like they got new management in like 2010 or something because it, the breadsticks have just gone downhill. Do 
Dan Kerman. How long has this bitch been all the thing? Kernan. Let's see. Let's see if my hypothesis is correct. I don't think new management would change the breadsticks. Yeah, they were like, we got to cut back. I don't... Oh. He took over in 2018. Interesting. And I'll that, tell you that was That was before, I think, it went downhill now. No. Oh. I think it went downhill in, like... I think it went downhill in 2000... I, I think it's Dan's fault. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Olive Garden breadsticks aren't good anymore. He used to work at Marie Callender's, of course. Marie Callender's has nothing good besides their pie. And now Olive Garden has nothing good besides their minestrone. The soup actually did look pretty good. It was. The- <laughs> you Dan. I don't know, guys. Olive Garden's Olive Garden's only good for a good old for a good bar crawl, you know. No. Yeah. I would still go there. You go to I several Olive Gardens for a bar crawl. I got actually. I did get a strawberry bellini, and it was damn good. Well, that's because it's and- just champagne and fruit yeah well they didn't mess it up they killed that shit. so i would do it again and i would go to another olive garden after that and get more drunk and then go to another one that's the only thing that they're good for okay so we went to olive garden the next you get day in an uber olive. after the first olive garden he's like where you headed you say olive garden and then you, you keep going until they close so the next morning <laughs> We got up because it was a day of the gala. 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 The gala. Gula. And I ate. The gulag. I ate at 9 a.m. I didn't. She didn't. And then we went to the venue. We got to the venue at noon. Ish, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 And then I went in hair and makeup. And... Our hair and makeup people were so good, first of all. The look at the gala. The look at the gala. Look at us. We've never looked <laughs> that good in our lives. It's amazing. Sad. They were so funny. They're so aggressively hype women. Yeah, they're great. Like, there's so much. I, like, they are the best. I sat down in the chair and they were like, you did not come this far to not serve. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay. And they're like, you came all this way. You're serving tonight. And I was like, okay, okay. And they're like, we're on your side. Like, how, I, do I serve? how do I serve? <laughs> they're like, we're, we're on your me. side. And I was like, okay, as opposed to what? <laughs> like, what's going on? Um, and then they're they, amazing. they, they're amazing. Uh, they did great. Her name is Raina. She, she's my makeup lady. I use her for everything. She's so incredible. What's her Instagram? Do you know? Uh, I do. I have her Instagram. Give her a nice shout out. I almost want to gatekeep it. Oh. <gasps> Listen, I, I will tell you her Instagram, but only go She if means you business be nice. though. She's like. She is the best makeup artist in she does. the entire world. Makeup by Raina Z is her but she's no she almost has 20k followers she's like amazing i don't even know how she has time for me she does like you can go to her profile you can see she's done she's done Haley bieber literally here's a picture of Haley bieber on her instagram feed like yeah she's She's done kylie jenner for the record she did my makeup before she did Haley bieber's makeup so Haley bieber copycat idiot (laughs) just kidding Haley bieber we can share okay that's nice she listens (laughs) um she loves one about it she loves one about it but yeah, they were really great. Um, and they were really they were hype women, and it was great. And I have had green eyeshadow. I haven't had colors on my eyelids since my mm, sophomore year of high school, so it was very exciting, and I kind of liked it. And Cutie had butterflies on her face and yeah. bright orange eyeshadow. I went as a dung beetle. I had a dung ball purse and a green dress, and Cutie went as a bunch of butterflies. I was a bunch of butterflies. That Oscar De La Renta dress that I talked about forever ago. Mm-hmm. I was able to wear it. She got it. And uh, I got it. I got it. They uh, We found a boutique that lent it to me and now I have to give it back. Sad. But that's fine because it's not like I'm going to wear it. Like, right. When where are you going to wear it again? Yeah. It's last so, night Ludwig like, was like, why don't we just buy it? You love it so much. And I was like, number one, it was a size too big. Yeah. And like, we're, we're going to wear it to a wedding. Everyone with a denim like, jacket outside. Like, what do you want yeah, me to do? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I can't be the butterfly girl for the rest of my life. It's gorgeous though. It was a gorgeous really, dress. Really, I wish pretty. it would have fit a little more, but it's okay. I think it fit really well. No, it was like really loose. Like I could On the like top. feel it. Yeah. You yeah. could get it altered. Well. Anyway. It's not mine. Um, it's not hers. She's going to give it back. Uh, But yeah, so we both did hair and makeup and then we went on to red carpet. Well, I had some drama because this is like event planner drama. You guys don't care probably. Well, 
We had, I think I had the least amount of cancellations. Well, okay. No, it's probably similar to Stream Rewards. Stream Rewards is 300 people. Dude, the cancellations are bad. Yeah, I don't think people know what goes into something like this. Yeah, it's like, it's catered. So everyone has a seat. They have seat their cards meal printed is out with their name. For. Their yeah. meal is paid for. The drinks are paid for. We have them slotted in on the red carpet for an interview. They have their call time. Like, it's very, it's built around I'd rather coming. people just say that they don't want to come. Then, yeah. Yeah. Then, then literally day the before or day of. Day be like, <laughs> or day before, yeah. I'm not coming. Because there's nothing I can do to replace you at that point because, mm-hmm. like, what are you gonna tell someone the day of? Like, hey, get a red carpet outfit and show up at yeah three thirty. And also, like, if they have a dietary restriction, I just simply cannot. Like, I can't change catering right. numbers. Catering doesn't allow that. Mm-hmm. Um, and seating, like, okay, you can come, but you're gonna have to sit with a bunch of people you've never met in your entire life. Like, there were a few, like, um, uh, Barry Barry Bebop that came Paddington. He he was the last minute fill just because I met him at um Point Crow's thing, and he's. Mm. so great so funny so i messaged nandre i was like hey do you have another person you can bring just put him in any empty seat and he was great and he was so easygoing and you know he came and threw it together so there's people like that but then i also just had staff there that i was like just fill empty seats like whatever yeah. but it is like it's i just wish people would just say no <laughs> I, it, and some people had good excuses and some yeah. people did not yeah have good and and excuses are the wrong word some people had good reasons there's no reason you have to come to a, my event for the record you can always yeah. say no but like a no lot of excuses people, yeah but like sometimes people are like hey i can't make it because of like because i just like woke up this morning and my tummy hurt it's like well fuck. like yeah because it is a an ex- how do you feel about the fact of i guess if you look at the grand scheme of things she's carefully choosing her words i am i'm curious about as i'm asking you as an expert in the field of like nonprofits and stuff like that Ooh. is it worth so okay i'm just gonna fucking say it okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna she's gonna, gonna whisper gonna, it so half of you i'm hear gonna it. spill the tea but quietly can you guys hear me no, you can't uh so i'll stop um okay uh the gal the gala cost me gala gala the gays cost me about 50k okay total we have raised already uh, but i will say uh, after sponsorships and i'm sure ads and subs Mm -hmm. i'm sure i've probably broken even right for sure like and that's all i care i don't care to make money off the gala like you'll never maybe maybe we'll see the gall with a ton of different sponsors but if it has a ton of different sponsors then i'm gonna have a production crew there and i'm gonna mm-hmm. like i'm just gonna up and we're the, gonna raise more money it's, yeah it's right. gonna be like like it's just gonna be a better right it's a charity thing yeah. but it is for charity first and foremost i'm okay walking away net zero on it that's the goal mm-hmm. um with this one technically i'm i, I spent 10k right. towards charity <laughs> so it's like oops yeah. um but the 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 venue and the food and the flowers and blah blah blah, all added up to about 50 Mm -hmm. um so we end up raising 130 in donos alone right now there's an auction going on that i think is going to end up adding another 50k yeah ish um so roughly 160 all of this being raised for five different organizations that support the conservation of the amazon rainforest do you think all, all of that knowing how much i spent on the thing is it worth do you think it's like i don't know my question is is like is it worth doing galas because a lot of people look at them and they're like oh pretentious bunch of people what the fuck it was gonna spill audio listeners i took some of the coffee off for lid because it was she was it was holding she was holding like this it looked like it was gonna drip down Ew. I don't. It's yeah. It's not very good. It she tastes, touched it. Tastes kind of yuck. Yeah, it's actually really not good coffee. Um, is it worth it to do next year? Is that your question? No, no. In general, like because y- people, I exist. On, people give me shit. They're like, oh, I spend this much money when you could like I could just donate fifty k to charity. Sure. Um, is it worth it doing a gala like in general? But instead, I raised a hundred and yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely so, worth it. It's it's quantitatively worth it, and it's worth it in terms of exposure. There was. 50,000 people watching that stream and there were two educational presentations there were a hundred people in person that were there for a cause uniting for a cause that's very different than quietly making a donation 
galas are a really commonplace fundraising for nonprofits because it's an IRL 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 way to crowdsource. <laughs> IRL. IRL way to crowdsource. Um yeah, it's it's very important. And you raise way more money that way. Huh. By putting together an event. Interesting. Yeah. No, I think it's worth it. Yeah. I guess from an optics standpoint. Every it's still worth it. Yeah. Every okay. nonprofit has a marketing budget. Every nonprofit has has a fundraising budget. Like you have to put money in to get money back. I will say none of the non for the record, none of the nonprofits paid to be a part of right. it. They were all surprised. They were like what the heck is going on? Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, there was one on Twitter that was like, oh, thanks for including us. They had no clue. Yeah. Good. No, but I mean, just from the perspective of like, you have to put money in to fundraise. To... Wow. Yeah. So that's, it's totally valid. And th and you put a bunch of money in, ton of money in, $50,000 yeah. to make a beautiful event that a bunch of people showed up to and a ton of money was raised. It's, yeah. More people said to me that they had fun at this event than stream rewards. It was definitely, I mean, it was I way it was more, more casual. Intimate. Yeah. And yeah. And it felt like everyone was buddies, you know, Stream yeah. Rewards is like a real, not serious, but like it's a, it's way more formal. Yeah. So it's a, this it one a very kind of felt like a different costume vibe. party. Yeah. Very different vibe than the Stream Rewards. Okay. Cool. Well, I appreciate the breakdown knowing that it is good. Yeah. I just, I just, I, you know how the internet gets. Sometimes they can convince you into like, I'm like, wait, am I a bad person for doing this? And I'm like, wait, why would I be? And then you're like i am <laughs> no i don't know environmentalism is also hard because you can get people can get you for anything that you're doing yeah right like i am a conservationist where did i get this shirt where did i get these yeah. jeans why aluminum cans over plastic yeah why aluminum cans over a recyclable water bottle right now right like yeah they can come at you for anything at the end of the day you net positive both in exposure and fundraising for all of those organizations and did really good by them great Great. I saved the rainforest, would you say? No. Do you think it's fixed? Mm -mm. Oh. Anyway. Um, I did a... No, let's not get there yet. Okay. I ate once at 9 a.m. <laughs> she did not eat. Okay? She didn't eat all day. And then we went and did red carpet, which was fine. But it was 100 people. I don't know how many people we interviewed. It was so many. I don't know. We interviewed so many people, which actually I think we did pretty well at. Yeah, I think we did okay. We were both really nervous. I was nervous. Maybe I wasn't, she like, wasn't. I was like nervous. I knew I'd be able to do it. I just didn't know if it'd be. Inter I didn't know if I'd be able to be funny because I'm not like, I'm not like freaking. Uh, can I say something interesting? Okay. <laughs> think of like Will Neff doing the auction, right? I think my fly's down. Oh. Ew. Kind of. I fixed it. Will Neff doing the auction. He's good at that. Amazing. So talented. He's great at that. If you're going to go down the line of like... Yeah, you finish. Go ahead. I think I know where you're going, but you go ahead. What? Just that I'm not capable of that? Yeah, and Will Neff wouldn't put together an event like that. I know. So you can't look at him and be like, no, no, oh, no, why no. can't I do that? No, no, no. But I think it all the time, like Austin show. Austin shows crowd work is blah, blah, blah. Like, ama blah, blah, blah. Very good. I'm amazing. His crowd work is amazing. Ludwig's crowd work is amazing. Yeah. Like, he's so witty. He's so slime. So witty. Squeak. So witty. I think I'm very witty. I don't know about slime's crowd work. I, you yeah, want to shit on slime? <laughs> we get, let's use slime hey, as an example. That's my date. <laughs> Please. He's very fun. I mean, it would, what do you mean? <laughs> like, are you just going to be like, why can't I do that? I can't think of. I swear to God, if you say what you're good at. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm trying not to sound sexist. I can't think of a woman. Um, Emily. That could do what Will did? Yeah. Not in the same way. Not in like such an aggressive like sold. But if Emily went up there and she was skipping around and she was super high energy, everyone would be smiling, being like, <sighs> okay, like let's go. She'd yeah. be really funny and she captures. I've seen Emily do karaoke. I just can't. I can't command an audience. She can. Yeah. I can't either. How do you do that? I don't know. Takes a certain... Whoa, he's pissed. He's commanding an he's audience. Pissed. Okay, I get it. You can do interviews next time. So. Um, I don't know. I mean, that, that just takes a certain type of person. But there are very few people in that room that can command an audience like the guys that you named. But they're yeah. also big, successful streamers. That's part of what makes them so good at streaming. Wow. They're good at commanding. I wish I could. 
Well, you're good at other things. I'm too tired to command an audience. <laughs> it's valid. I don't have the I don't have the gusto, and I'm too embarrassed to like get up there and be like, "All right, guys, here Hello, we are." Hey. Like that's just not me. Let me see those titties. I that they didn't say that. That'd I know, but really I would. I'll say, I'd say that. <laughs> she was a very very confused yesterday. <laughs> I was. Who you cannot get you cannot not be confused around Jessica. <laughs> It doesn't get any hotter than Jessica Negri. She's so perfect. She's so gorgeous and she's so nice. She's so nice. One of the nicest people I've ever met. She's He actually hates her. He hates her so much. Audio listeners, he's attacking her. He every time I say, "Hey, Jessica, i told you <laughs> she's I'm so sorry. generous he's and she's jealous. so nice he's jealous okay sorry and she's so beautiful and so smart and i'm just oh i'm just obsessed with her and her costume was gorgeous was so and gorgeous. we interviewed her and we were just staring at her we were, we were just, just staring, staring at her boobs at her. i was staring at her costume don't Not cool <laughs> That is crazy that Not you would do cool. that to me on recording this morning. Not she was cool. sitting on my bed and she was like, isn't it crazy that when we were interviewing Jessica, I just kept staring at her tits because they were so shiny. And I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> and then we're recording and she's like, I was looking at her costume. I was looking at her costume. That That's is crazy that you're so fucked up. Wow. I have never. Wow, Maya. Please keep it in your pants. No, she put glitter on her boobs. It was impossible. It was gorgeous you could she not was like, so you gorgeous. would look at her costume and then glitter would gleam from her her bosom she looks so just good look up she looks so good and then you'd be like back to the costume and yeah then there'd be a glitter sparkle again you're like where's that coming from oh the, back to the co- i couldn't but her costume was gorgeous her costume is so good all She's the interviews gorgeous. all the interviews are good i feel like we had decent chemistry with everyone and there was very little dead air if oh. any no, like, there was like none because we just got to talk about tech problems yeah because we just got to talk about what they brought for the auction a bunch of people the auction items were so good so thoughtful which what was your favorite interview what was your favorite auction item my favorite auction item i think was doug doug's doug 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 wrote like doug doug's code bible and he printed out all the code he's ever written on stream and put it in this like nice like faux leather pamphlet and it it has a thing and whatever it was just really thoughtful and i feel like he put a lot of effort into that granted I don't know how you use code when it's in a book. I don't know. But do it's a cool yeah. thing to have. Just, yeah. I think, um, I mean, Alfred took Jaden's play button that's like currently at oh my $8,000. God. That is crazy. I've that, never like, seen one of those. I love that stuff. Well, because it's cool. It's it not is like, really you can be cool. like, look, I have 10 million subs. Um, I think uh, BTMC's mm. interview stood out to me. He was the one with the Valentino jacket that was like, mm-hmm. I bought this to give me confidence. That was really wholesome. Was really sweet. I will say the the so thoughtful the quad the quad uh that rolled up Valkyrie Tina, freaking they Fruitly brought Mion. so much. Their stuff was cool. They brought so much. stuff. Yeah, it was very very cool. Um, also I'm just I'm a just I'm a sucker for my friends. So Golden Glue and Sorens and I'm in Bjergsen's jersey. You know also okay those are cool. Yeah, Bjergsen's you know what? jersey was the last one. The last jersey he wore his last professional leg of. Yeah, that's Game crazy. Of of Legends. That's yeah. that's a huge item. It's yeah, like a big and I don't deal. think it was like communicated well. No, it was. What it was. Yeah, it was. No, no, on the on, oh, the, on website, the website, it was like actually they. Damn. I wish they would have put that. The, this is a mess. Of course, <sighs> let me talk about everything I changed. Um, but they put golden glue and Bjergsen's jerseys together. Mm-hmm. They should be separate. Yeah, they're they both be separate, really cool for sure. Um, but they put them together. Damn, unfortunately, yeah. Also, was it Sam? sandwich sandwich's wedding dress sandwich's wedding dress is hilarious yeah. she brought sandwiches got married got divorced and she put up her wedding dress for auction and she was like it's cursed don't wear it don't wear it that's so it's such a good item yeah it's so funny there was lots of really good stuff yeah. i think i think um yeah it was really wholesome i think i think the biggest thing i learned obviously everyone yeah i'm sure if you watched it, audio is bad because I didn't want to pay for a production team because I was trying to break even. We have ideas for audio next year, though, without a production team that we could do. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be... It's whatever. Like, you know. Um, that is another conversation, though. Yeah, that's a different day. <laughs> that's a year away. Is if that, I do it again. Is there next year? Again. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I was getting really st- stressed about keeping on time because I didn't know if people in the main room were, like, having fun enjoying themselves with appetizers and cocktails. Like, I was really... Mm-hmm 
worried about falling behind there. And so then I rushed the last like 10 interviews and looking back at it, the hindsight's 2020 is they were having a fine time in there. Mm-hmm. We should have just done the interviews. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have rushed. We, we did just... them. I don't think they were that bad. I, think I, it was I mean, fine. there was a little rushed, but yeah, but it was fine. It was fine. It was just Hassan. Yeah, but Hassan loves to talk. He does. And like Arya and Janet. And I we missed It's Will. Mm-hmm. He just, because I told Taylor, I was like, just send people to their seats. Like, yeah. Well, so she just started sending people to their seats. So we missed It's Will. I think we missed someone else too. But yeah. Um, yeah. Well, next time. I think it was still good. I, after doing those interviews though, was exhausted. I was like, uh, exhausted of talking. I was just like, I don't want to talk for another three days. But then we had to start the show. <laughs> yeah so. well will was a, a saving grace for the auctioneer absolutely because without him, I, I don't think i could have hated could doing that. that energy yeah it would have been so hard yeah um so susan did suzanne i keep doing that suzanne did her presentation it was lovely um it was very nice that she was there um and people actually learned that's huge it's yeah. not often you see presentations like that on a stream where fifty thousand people are watching that's really cool yeah and then the date auction before suzanne went up cutie told me to stall or she said fluff because she had to go do something tech wise and she was like here maya and she leaves me on stage with the microphone she left me on stage with the microphone and i'm stalling and i was just like i don't know what to do and then melena yells chug and then everyone starts yelling chug and i have this glass of prosecco in my hand and i again beep beep eight at nine a.m it's like six 30 now yeah i hadn't eaten since 9 a.m and so i chugged prosecco on stage without eating and i was i was gone for like 10 minutes i was so scared drunk i was so scared i wouldn't be able to do my speech i chugged so much water and i ate the salad that they put down and then i was okay but it was bad for like 10 minutes there i went over to lud and slime and i was like this speech is really important to me and I'm going to be drunk. What I'm doing it is not going to be good. I work so hard on it. And they're like, no, it's fine here. And they're just like shoving water at me. They're just like, drink this, drink this. Um, so that was rough. But then Suzanne did her speech and I had some time to recover. And then Will did the auction and Will killed the auction. And everyone spent so much money on each other and they're all rich. And they all showed everyone that they're rich. The problem is that NMP bought surf surfing. He's with never gonna do that. Caroline. And so he's he's gonna want her in Texas. There's no Where, surfing in yeah, Texas. No, he's not gonna do that. Yeah. Maybe I'll set it up for like I don't know. I'll put them all in group chats and say, When do you wanna do this? Yeah. Blah blah blah. But we'll see we'll see if that one ever gets fulfilled. Maybe it's when they come back for streaming rewards. Yeah, maybe. If their stream set up, but uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I'm most nervous about people not fulfilling their dates, but I'll remind them once a month forever. Forever. <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure. I won't scam. But that was a really good idea, This the date auction. Yeah, and I think now that people saw it, because I asked more people than did it, but I think... Now they'll want to do it. Now they'll want to do it, because they'll see what like what it was. Because yeah. I think a few people were nervous about it being shippy and like weird or not getting bought or whatever, mm-hmm. but... It went great. It it's went a great. great idea for fundraising. It was amazing. Yeah. 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 And then I gave my speech. Scary. I practiced that for a really long time, and it had to line up... I had an animation made by Dionysus, and... I had to line up what I was saying with the animation because it was a video and the crowd was being so great and they were being really supportive and so they would like cheer or say aw or whatever. So I'm trying to interact with the crowd and yeah, I was they were, like, like really excited to see the monkey. I know. And I was like live adjusting the speech that is so rehearsed. I mean, you saw I was rehearsing. Yeah, it I thought all about day, pausing it the day before. Points, yeah, I didn't want to throw me off yeah yeah so i I was just i was live adjusting my speech to the crowd's reactions which was hard but it ended up being fine um i think it could have been twice as long if i had the ability to pause or like know when to like to be able to do that myself could have been twice as long and like twice as good honestly um but next time yeah but i'm i'm proud of it Uh, i think it was i think it was solid um they liked it they're very nice about it and then i could breathe again and then (gasps) the best part of the night (laughs) Mm-hmm. 
are hypnotists. I need to address it. <laughs> um, it was a good try. I thought it was hilarious. Okay, it was. Uh, I was talking to Squeaks about it this morning. Squeaks was His, such a problem for me. Why during that? It's like when you sit across from. It's like you have a friend in a class. Yeah, and every time giggling. you look at them, you just yeah. die laughing. Uh-huh. Squeaks and I were sitting across from each other. It was me, Squeaks, and Connery's <laughs> pants. And anytime he would say something, we would look at each other and just like laugh. I could not stop laughing. It was so funny. The first thirty minutes, I was crying. Yeah, of this guy's show. It. It was an interesting show. It was so funny. He kept flexing. He was like, I do a million people. I'm not easily impressed. Go Dodgers. I was like, what is he talking about? (laughs) What is he talking about the Dodgers? I think us as an audience, like Twitch streamers, was a perfect, like... So good. To ironically enjoy it, but unironically... Wait, no. We enjoyed it un... No, wait. (laughs) dyslexia I ironically it it's hilarious ironically, unironically yeah. it was a little painful it was bad but ironically kind of funny like when you first start wearing crocs ironically but then they get really comfy and now you wear them every day with every outfit i think also like not being mean to the guy he's been doing this for a very long time very long time and shows like this some people really do like i am so anti anything cool like i i just i don't believe oh. in anything i like could never i would never want to be hypnotized i i don't like shows and well should we break spooky the fourth stuff wall? and whatever what we asked i asked each person that went up there i was oh. like how was that they're like you're just acting i know that's what uh, bryce yeah. was so bryce was like kneeled over he fell on the floor he was, he was so like convincing. in fetal he was so convincing and after the show i went up to him and i was like you okay like that was crazy and he's like i did that for you and i was like well thank you <laughs> he was trolling the whole time yeah there's one point where alex like kind of i think she was like done she's like i'm over this and she sat up like she's like i'm awake yeah and he goes over and he grabs her and he goes sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was it was crazy I, and i don't fuck so I don't know how they do those shows with normal people that aren't trying to farm and be funny. No, I don't know either. Or unless the, that's just what everybody does. I think the peer pressure of an audience, because apparently he kept saying stuff like, hey, you don't want to disappoint the audience. Like, you oh. don't want to. Yeah, that's what. They also, I mean, they did say they got really sleepy, which is valid. Because like, if you're, yeah. if someone's saying like, you're feeling heavier and heavy and your eyes are closed, you're like, you're going to be drowsy. Yeah. So I think that was all that they felt. Um, but I will say, I mean, he's got great presence. I definitely was watching him and listening to oh, him. Oh, he's he got was great very stage presence. engaging and funny. It's I think just, he's great at his job. It was just... I think we just aren't... Don't like his job. <laughs> I think we don't like being hypnotized. Yeah. So maybe next year a magician. A magician would be good. Or an acro... A fire breather that like... Or like maybe like a maybe like a cool show where they... Aerial like, acrobats. Aerial acrobats. But then they also like bring some people on stage and then like fire breather. Like a circus performance kind of. I hate when people swallow knives and but stuff. But we though. need like we need like guest interaction. If you yeah. guys have good ideas in the comments, let me know. Something that like they would interact with the people in because that's what magic you watch shows are for. fun. I know, but I guess they'd bring. People what did you from say yesterday? Like a mentalist? A or mentalist? Something? I don't, I don't, know, what I don't know what that means. Me neither. <laughs> okay, overall, the hypnotist I thought was hilarious. He was hilarious. And he's definitely a performer. <laughs> it's just the whole. It was very long. It was long, and, and then he goes, "I'm very, going into overtime," and I'm sitting there holding the camera, going. Oh, and everything was very confusing. No, no, no. But wow, what he a brought time. his own mic, which was very nice because then he doesn't have to rely on the in-house mic. But, but the issue is, it, then we couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear a word yeah. he was saying the whole time. Yeah, it was rough. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It was so funny. Yeah, I loved it. I'm gonna be honest. I know people are like, that was crazy, whatever. But I said this morning, I think that was one of the most memorable things about. No, I think it was because everyone's gonna talk about it because everyone thinks it's It's crazy, so crazy. Yeah, so great. So I did it. It'll work. (sighs) That'll do. Maybe just half as long, but yeah, then great. Yeah, I think I think it was fine. I think I think it was fun to try it. I think it was. I think I got to dose. He's mad. Um, I think it was a good event overall. I think it was fun. And then there was an after party. That I had to be at the venue the whole time. Andrea put it together. Everyone said it was really fun. Squeak said there was a stripper. They also didn't let him in. And they wouldn't let him in. They wouldn't let Squeaks in. They wouldn't let Squeaks in they and let- he was waiting while everyone else walked past him and everyone was pointing at him as they were walking in like, Squeaks isn't on the list. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I have a feeling that once Squeaks did get in, he went to the wrong party. And then... Because there's no way we had a stripper at our party and no one else is talking about it. And they eventually let him in and then he said there's a stripper. Yeah. There's no way. Because no one else has mentioned a stripper. Yeah. We asked him how it was. He was like... He just said... so fun. There's a stripper. He said there was boob. Yeah. That's all he said. Yeah. I was like, so she was naked? And he's like, there was boob. (laughs) What does that mean? I don't know. We didn't go. We. I was so sick. She got sick. I was so sick because because I didn't eat and I just ate. I drank that one prosecco and felt terrible and my dress was so tight. I had tight pants syndrome, from my dress. Yeah. So I just felt super bloated and we got home and I threw up. I was overstimulated. That too. I was exhausted. I was um, like, well, I was also cleaning up the venue. Mm-hmm. But everyone said they had a great time. Andrea did a great job and everyone had fun. So. G-G-Z. everyone got drunk everyone got drunk caroline helped caroline's a hero for that too mm-hmm. she helped because i wasn't over there yet she's a very helpful lady she's great i want to look like her oh my god she's so gorgeous she know she just like knows how to dress and how to do her makeup and sorry i shouldn't have made it that low and just look beautiful and classy and elegant it's the dream yeah she always looks elegant Elegant. She just word. texted her. She sent me a. a Ew. <laughs> Ew. She touched my foot. I slid under grandma's <laughs> phone and I touched your toesies. Ew. Yuck. I don't like that. Sylvie, I'll wipe it off on you. He likes it. Sylvie, lick it off. <laughs> <laughs> he won't even lick it off. Lick it. <laughs> oh, he, he hates like belly it. Rubs. <laughs> He wants some belly rubs, huh? He hated it. Um, so now the conversation is, does Cutie want to do it next year? Do I do it again? Does she do it again? I think it's a great idea. I think if you're if you have the the means and the bandwidth to raise it's six figures every year, and like lift wise, it was pretty easy. Yeah, if you have if you have the ability to raise six figures a year for charity, you should. Because that's cool as hell. And it was fun. And everybody had fun. Um, and yeah. I think I could do it. I just get nervous about um, event exhaustion. Because everyone's always... Not everyone. Will. <laughs> Will is always complaining to me about like, you have too many events. You have too many events. Oh. And and I just get nervous. Like, do I? Are people sick of me? Are people don't want to come anymore? I don't think that they, they would could come just not they come. come. They could just say no, right? Yeah. They feel like they have to come. I think that asking people to fly in twice a year is a lot, but there are so many people in LA. You can do but the gala could, just in LA. They could also LA. just say no, right? Also true. Yeah. I think what I do is I've said, wait, then I can't make it anonymous. Because I was going to send everyone that came like a little feedback thing being like, yo, what do you think? What should I change? How was the food? Did you like the venue? How was check-in? How was this? How was that? Was it confusing? How You know, like. All these questions just so I can learn my process better because I only know it from my end and I th- think I communicate a mm-hmm. lot, but maybe they're missing stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. But in that, I was going to say, would you want to come again next year? But if I do it anonymous, then I won't be able to see I think that's fine. Really? Yeah. It, and then you just ask them again if they say... If they, if they don't want to go and they say yes, that's like co- entirely on them. But also, don't think that them going isn't good for them. It definitely is good for them oh, to yeah. be at that I mean, event and be on the red carpet. Everyone can Well, and they're just on the stream. And also, they and, can like, get to know They want to feel included and, like, yeah, and network. It's It definitely, it's not, it's not just for you. It's mutually beneficial, for sure. Shmeep shmoop. Shmeep shmoop. It's done now. Now I have the post-event syndrome, is what we call it. Post-event scaries. It's actually, my stream is live right now. It's true. And. Kind of going crazy. It still feels a little, uh, whenever I do events now, because I've been so dissociated, mm-hmm. it just doesn't even feel like I did it. It is and remarkable. Such a chance that I'm just going to forget. At the it. end of the event, how little you react <laughs> I know. to it being like, I, we were in the bathroom the first time recapping and we were like, I don't know. I was like putting my hair up or something. She was washing her hands and I was like, so? How do you feel? And she's like, fine. Yeah. And I was like, you raised $130,000. She's like, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I feel so detached. I know. I wish, I wish you could be more proud of it because it was a really good event and it went very well. 
I also only had one tech issue, which is incredible. Besides the audio. But like one backpack F, pretty good. How did I go up in viewership? What is that now? 5K. Oh my God. It was down huge. to 3K. This stream is so That's funny so to sick. me. I think maybe since the timer, there's only four hours left on the auction. I think for the last mm. hour, I'll go live on my PC and like look through the items. You should, for yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. Fun. But yeah, I think, I think, I mean, I think there's no harm in doing it. And I think we talked about, I, one of my favorite charities is like best friend society I, and like, you know, uh, animal, uh, cats and dogs or something that I really care about. Pets, um, yeah. pets, even just like one, like something that one time I was able to do and I'm like very grateful I was able to do is Swift was being a weirdo he was actually faking it this was six years ago he was faking sick um but i had i took him to the emergency er Mm -hmm. he was like he was acting weird Mm -hmm. and i was there and um they check him out and he's fine and as i'm walking out and walking past this lady who was just like she reminded me of my mom so much and she was wearing this denim jacket with a big painting of a pug on the back of it Mm -hmm. and her pug's name was waffles okay very i feel like every pug's name is waffles (laughs) There's Probably. actually a famous pug named Waffles. Doug. No, there's that pug, but then there's also Waffles. Oh. Um. Anyway, its name is Waffles, and she's like sobbing because they're like they're like you know like he's gonna need to stay here for two more nights, and she's like we can't afford it. Like what you know, just like sobbing. She's like I don't know what to do. Like what if I take him home now? Like he'll probably die. Like yeah, and it was like really intense. that care is expensive. Yeah, and I'm just like sitting next. I'm standing next to her, like checking out, you know. And obviously mine is like I'm blessed because he was faking it. Um, which, which now, now he, he, he has some problems, problems, but they're, they're not, not like, he's not, he's not, not going, going anytime soon. I don't, I don't think he's he should be fine. Yeah. He has to get his ultrasound every six months, but he's doing okay. Um, but, and she, they took her back into the room with her dog or whatever. And I paid off her bill. Oh, that's um, nice. And so I like even being able to like do stuff like that where I, like I've before, like when I raised money for like animal shelters and stuff like that i've been able to like call and say like who's mm-hmm. like who needs it type thing and i've been able to do stuff like that and so that stuff's really important to me but there's just like so many things to potentially raise money for it's like it's crazy also i love personally the idea of doing the gala for good for pets and animal shelters and then making everyone show up as a furry <laughs> I think that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Red I, carpet. You're just like, wow, you really went all imagine out. Imagine Peach. Dude, so good. Yeah. yeah. We just have I no can't believe we didn't talk this. about Peach when we were talking about red carpet. I know. Peach sat six hours in prosthetics to have a sloth face and sloth And her dress claws. was amazing. Gorgeous. Peach is one of my favorite people on the planet. She's just- Everyone was amazing. Just I can't excellent. think of one person that dropped the ball. Except for the people that canceled. So for the people that canceled, <laughs> unless you had a good reason, then I forgive you. But other you know what, Austin you, dropped the ball. Why? Because he showed up as a giraffe. No, but he and was that's com- dumb he as was, hell. He was, <laughs> stop it. He was so committed to that giraffe all night. He was more committed to that giraffe than he was Toto. Okay, it's true. And he loved but that giraffes giraffe. are not and from it, the rainforest. It, it, it left. It actually led to the most funny reactions because something would happen, and I turned to Austin and his dumbass giraffe head, and he'd be like, "What? Giraffes are from the plains of." sub-saharan africa who bought austin who bought the date with blau? austin blau said he wanted to i don't remember who actually won him let me see i don't know i have the thing um so what do you guys think about a, a furry gala next year Does that sound good to y'all wait hassan bought blau oh, that's funny that's nice and Austin, wait. Connor eats pants. Bought Austin. Really? That's <laughs> I funny. I forgot. I remember now. Yeah. So Connor eats pants and Austin How are going to go to a pay? cat cafe. Three thousand five hundred. Damn. I love Connor eats pants. That's personally. so funny. Connor eats pants. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. That is so funny. His Connor eats pants actually best dressed outfit in but blue. He's blue. Remember that? He's the rain. <laughs> He was the actual rain. So funny. So funny. I think there are lots of ideas for other charity. This morning we talked about oceans too. Ocean yeah. conservation is obviously massive. Ocean, there's still the bug gala. Planet. 
bugs. There's bugs. Bugs. There's ocean. We could even do a bird specific one one time. Birds. We could do endangered animals one time. Endangered animals. There's a lot of those. We could do. We do. That's it, actually. (laughs) Nothing else to save. They're all nature and animal related. If you want to go even past that, there's endless causes. Yeah, I like even like even just like uh, exotic game hunting, like helping against that, you know. I think people would. I don't think we could trust people to be tasteful enough. Yeah, that's true. I think they'd no, show I'm, up as hunters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, meant, really <laughs> I meant, I meant, I meant like, uh, I meant that in the same breath as like endangered animals. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, like, oh, this is inspired by endangered animals. We'd still do the World Wildlife Fund and then five other charities or whatever, and one of those being against exotic animal hunting. Sure. But sure. Uh, that is exist. a fair point. Um, yeah. But it's fun. It's fun to think about the themes and and people dressing up and yeah. I think it's a just bunch like money. a good. I think it's good. I think it's a good. I think it's a good thing that no one else has done in this way, mm-hmm. and I think it is a repeatable thing. Mm-hmm. The groups will change every year. The auctions will change every year. The items will change every year. The show mm-hmm, and tell. Mm-hmm, the outfits. Mm-hmm, the everything. Mm-hmm. So. Hopefully, hopefully everyone liked it enough. It'd be good. Yeah, I think it went really well. Um, I'm 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 really happy with it. I'm not happy that I threw up. I did a really bad job just like taking care of myself yesterday because yeah, I that's I didn't the think about part. it. There's no time. But it's not even that I I wasn't hungry. I didn't realize until I chugged that that I hadn't eaten since nine. I think I drank a total of half a cup of water yesterday. Yeah, she doesn't drink water. She didn't drink enough water. I need to drink more water. Even this morning, I still haven't drink water. I also passed out on the couch. This is my makeup from yesterday. I can't believe your lashes are still on. I know. Well, this one's like pretty much off. I've just kept it on for the podcast. Dude, I before everyone got out of the venue, I had my dress off and I took my makeup off and I took all the pins out of my hair. There were like 50 pins holding my hair up. And I looked like this. Okay, not like this because I didn't have makeup on. Ludwig told this funny story. So the venue had this an all genders bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, But eventually the ladies took over that bathroom it was very confusing because they had an all genders they had an all genders bathroom and and then they had a men's bathroom yeah which is interesting i don't know what the thought i don't know what the thought process was but then so ludwig meanders into the all genders bathroom because Mm -hmm. says all genders and it's just full of a bunch of girls and they're like no girls only get out and he's like it says all genders and they're like you have a men's get out (laughs) it was i will say it was weird like not like bad weird it's just i've never walked out of a bathroom stall this there's a security guard in there who would just use the stall next to me and uh-huh. then I was washing his hands and we like walked out at the same time we're washing our hands at the same time and it's it's a very different vibe from being in a women's restroom i was yeah. just like this is kind of weird <laughs> it's so <laughs> like, funny maybe i mean maybe this is too political for this stream <laughs> for th- this podcast maybe okay yeah I-, I mean i don't i don't know the ins and outs of all gender rest. it was fine yeah. i feel fine about it i feel fine about it it was just i've never been next to a man in a stall before yeah that's all i think and someone needs to correct me in the comments if i'm wrong because i could be i actually don't really know is it just everyone is it just anyone it's just for anyone right anyone. so it's just i think part of it i think part of why it started is so that you didn't have to choose going in the men's or women's or you didn't have to feel like if you went in like one of them that pressure. people would judge you for being in right there. yeah so the i like the concept a lot actually i like the concept i i just don't like st- straight men <laughs> yeah honestly that's, that's the, the problem thing. like anyone else can go Is, to the bathroom but not like i don't like being with straight men yeah that's what <laughs> in the bathroom the, the security guard okay i'm making assumptions i assume the security guard was a straight cis man yeah but we were like washing our hands and he was like is this a ladies room or what and i was like no it's all gender and he's like oh what's that <laughs> i was just like okay and we walked out of there so yeah it's that's the problem yeah nobody else it's so funny yeah i don't fine. know but it was fine it was fine it was cool the the venue was really cool it was very cool and um and taylor did such a good job taylor did a good i job. don't know if you guys could see on camera that the table settings the florals the the cups the everything was just gorgeous she did such a good job pretty yeah um so yeah success 
success i like i like we only have like 10 more minutes in this episode and i don't know like what to like what we can cover in 10 minutes that's so i'm like being a little like what can like what do we start bring up talking about for 20 minutes um i don't know if there's anything also you might have to go to the airport yeah we could just start filming the patreon app talk about other stuff on the patreon app. are you going to the airport with squeaks Mm -mm. okay she's not going with squeaks all right well youtube yeah we should probably switch because she has to go to the airport i know this everyone always gives a shit i've never seen anyone give a shit when we're in person and we don't record in-person episodes oh sure yeah i thought you meant for the amount of time we record no 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 no, I think people are fine with it. But they give a shit when we don't, like, do more, like, in-person. You also have to shit. remember, Cutie and I are actually friends. <laughs> and we never see each other in person. And we actually want to hang out in person. Yeah, so we hang out without recording. Yeah, and then we get to, you know, it's like, we're talking all morning. It's like, oh, my God, I got to leave in an hour. And it's like, oh, we got to film then. Yeah. That's where we're at right now. Yeah. So we're, we'll go over and we'll film the Patreon episode. And we'll talk about some other stuff on there. Um, go over there if you want. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think about uh this setup you know we've been having a lot of i don't know what we're doing with the podcast I don't know what we're doing. but you know feedback is fine don't d- not about not about be a pillow be nice <laughs> don't get only give us feedback about stuff that we want to give to- <laughs> that's up to you <laughs> no feedback on swift no feedback on swift he's perfect and if you don't think so you're an idiot also he can't take it so he can take it he senses it <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you on the We're next one. We're going to the Patreon right now if you want to see Swift's toes. Oh, don't show him. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. We've got to go to the Patreon now. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.